text neck. A condition, they say, caused by spending hours and hours looking down at our phones, our gadgets, putting strain on our necks, and new cases are cropping up around the country. Dr. Besser here in just a second, but first, ABC's Mars Gabba Campo with more. Your technology can literally be a pain in your neck. All day, every day, people are looking down at iPads, laptops, and video games. And one doctor says it could be causing an epidemic of neck pain. So GMA decided to look into what some doctors are calling text neck. Many, many people are using their necks in a poor posture or a poor position, doing many things. Over time, he says, text neck can lead to early spine degeneration, even surgery. Just ask Todd Snyder, whose neck pain became unbearable. I realized that I was on mobile devices for one to two hours a night, even more, just checking my emails, uh, doing notes on the computer, texting friends, responding back to colleagues. Dr. Hansraj diagnosed him with text neck and says Todd, like many of his patients, has lost the natural curvature in his spine, pulling it out of alignment from poor posture. The spine is straighter. It's losing that belly shape. And for teen Matthew David, texting three to four hours every day exacerbated an old football injury. When I like started bending my head down, like. I could feel the tension in my neck a lot. As a parent, it's, it's pretty heartbreaking because it's an indication of where we are in the times. But some doctors we reached out to say text neck is just a fancy term for pain people have been experiencing for years. It's really uh, nothing more than an overuse type of injury, just like you would see with any other kind of repetitive activity. Other doctors tell us additional studies need to be done to learn more about the issue. In the meantime, Dr. Hansraj says pay attention to your head and neck. For Good Morning America, Mara Schiavocampo, ABC News, New York. So those are the details on text neck and you say this is actually a real thing. It is. You know, it, it is a type of overuse injury, but but if you think about how people are acting now, this is what we're doing to overuse. We're, we're using text messaging. And so there are a number of symptoms you're going to see with this. You can see neck pain or, or stiffness. You can have headaches and you can have pain that's just in your shoulders, mm -hmm. your back or, or, or down your arms. All of those can be a symptom of this. So what do you do? Well, the, the interesting thing here is, is what happens as you put your head forward. Mm -hmm. So the average human head weighs about 10 to 12 pounds. And as you're with, with good posture, that weighs just going right down your spine directly onto your neck. But as you move your head forward, the direction of the forces changes and your neck experiences enormous amounts of weight. Let me, let me show you. So as your head goes forward 15 degrees, it's the equivalent of having three gallons of milk, the, the weight of that exerted on, on your on neck. Your spine. On your spine, wow. right on, the, on, on your neck. As you go down to 30 degrees, it's the equivalent of a five Ooh, gallon drum of water. Wow. That is crazy. Enormous weight. And at 45 degrees, take a look at this. It's the equivalent of having two tires no. on, on your neck. That's incredible. Come on. Hey, Jack, is this a good idea? Or huh? What do you think about this? <laughs> yeah, this is look at this. So at 60 degrees, Roman, <laughs> Roman, how much do you weigh? 60 pounds. 60, 60 pounds. pounds. Hey, Roman, can you lay off the french fries, dude? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. And laughs> it wouldn't be on Dan's shoulders. It would be on Dan's neck that that would be good. Okay, so what do you do to prevent this other than not All right, I'm going to put Roman back. down that time. Roman, Roman, that was good. <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> so, I mean, the prevention, the, the first thing is if you can back off someone on how much you're texting. Mm -hmm. The other is when you're texting, instead of looking down, if you can hold like, your, hold your phone you up. Like this? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like this, just like right. that. Right. Then you're, you're not putting the, right. those forces there. But then in addition to that, there are things you can do, some exercises to increase the flexibility in your neck and, and, and some of the strength. So you know, you can take a look at this first video. This is, this is a, a rotational video here, a, a rotational exercise. So you're turning your head to the side and with your hand exerting some force and that's stretching those muscles there. And you do that, hold it for a couple seconds to both sides. The second one is, is a head tilt. And with this, you're tilting your head to the side, trying to get your ear down to the, your shoulder. Mm -hmm. That's stretching those muscles on the other side. Hold for a couple seconds, and then you do it over to the, to the other side. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is a shoulder roll. So you pinch your shoulders back, and then you're, you're in a sense doing a rowing motion with your shoulders backwards and forwards. Those are all going to improve your posture, help keep your neck over your, over your, over your head. And in addition, I love yoga for well, this. But, but giving you those arms that he has? I was going to say. Exactly. I was going to say. Minds think yeah. alike. So that'll I've got, help I've got Besser neck right now because you're like 6'5". I know. I, 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 you know. <laughs> it's always a challenge. It's always a challenge. I'm going to use those reverse <laughs> tips to, after this segment. Anyway, Dr. Besser taking your questions throughout the morning. Tweet him at Dr. Richard Besser.